repeat the question. The question is that there's a big problem in the UK where children, once they eat, reach a certain age, they kind of get away from their families and they become atheists or whatever else and go do whatever they desire. I think as parents, we need to educate our children, talk to our children, realize that they are people who need guidance. Don't assume. And have that conversation with them. Where do you think you came from? What do you think the purpose of your life is? Do you know about the miracle of the Quran? When we go to the masjid, we take them to the masjid. When we go to halaqat, we go, to halaq we go with them. I know many brothers who have had family members on that verge or that edge and have made a practice of watching, for example, the OMF videos together. And we have those videos of debates with atheists and Christians and alhamdulillah, it has cleared up without them having to tell them those weird yani, shubuhat that come up, right? Doubts and things like this. So parents need to have that conversation early. Little children, teach them about Allah, teach them about Islam, teach them why we're Muslim. Not just that you're Muslim, but why? Why is it that Islam is the truth and the only truth? And don't sell out. Many families, especially in the UK, they are apparently religious. They are traditionally religious. But the house is all filled with bid'ah. I know I got family here. I'm not trying to be any condescending. I know. And they, their Islam is on only up to their cultural practice. So if Mawlid is accepted in your culture, it's accepted here. And if somebody challenges it, your dalil is, we did it in Pakistan. We did it in Bangladesh, we did it in India, we did it here, we did it there. Huh? If, if those tribal cultural problems are brought here, the kids here aren't going to put up with it. If you're dividing over being Darud or Hawiya, y'all thought I didn't know, huh? huh? If you're about Ishaq and this and that, <laughs> huh? if you're bringing that nationalism here your children are going to be out because they don't care if you bring you know Urs Sharif and this Sharif you know it's funny it's never Zakat Sharif or Salat Sharif it's always something Bid'ah Sharif you know <laughs> Ajmer Sharif and Dada Data Ganbak Sharif whatever you bring all that here and you think you're going to make a little Pakistan, a little India, a little Bangladesh, a little Mogadishu, a little uh, Arumu. No Arumu's in here? All right. Uh, right? It's not going to happen. The only way you're going to do it is you bring Islam. The Islam of the Quran and the Sunnah. The Islam that is based on evidences. The Islam that works everywhere. The Islam that is from Qala Allah wa Qala Rasul alayhi salatu salam. The Islam that explains answers. And if you don't know, ask your a'imma. You have people of knowledge here. And if you don't, if you're not from Leicester and you don't have access, we put all our videos online, not because we want to make money. We don't want to be famous. We want to educate people. We take the time to put the verses from the Bible and ayat from the Quran scanned. Right? Why? So people can learn that and be able to answer questions. We put our aqidah durus and za'ad fiqh durus and all of that free. You don't need to sign up. You don't need, we don't want your money. Free. Take that knowledge. And if the parents aren't active in that and active in bringing their kids towards that, then there is the recipe for disaster. Deen ki baad phailana sadqay jariya hai. Sawaab ki niyat se video ko share zarur ki jiye. Jazakallah.